Hey guys, I have a very special announcement and I'm only telling you first. We are having baby number three. Okay, holy sh I'm having another baby. I've been crazy sick. I wake up in the morning, um, I feel like I wanna vomit. I have lunch and wanna vomit and wanna vomit at dinner. Being 43, it's much more tiring. I don't get anything done. I think I'm much more hormonal. I'm like a crazy <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> turkey. I can eat like so much turkey. It's so gross, it's so weird, but like all I want is like salt and turkey. I have to have hot chocolate every single night, no matter what. I'm gonna miss jeans a lot, I'm gonna miss pants. I'm gonna miss a waist. I'm not a Sports Illustrated waist any longer. <gasps> We're excited to share this journey with you guys. He will be here before we know it. That was our special guest, Molly Sims, sharing some precious moments of her pregnancy. Also joining us today is Molly's doctor from the Southern California Reproductive Center, Dr. Shaheen Gadir. Welcome. Thank you, Doc. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, Molly, first of all, let me say, no doubt you are an awesome mom. Thank you. But what made you make the decision <clears throat> to see a fertility doc and, and obviously so excited to have a third child? Um, you know, I was, I was playing Delinda um, on Las Vegas on NBC, and I was playing pregnant. And it's a good show. Um, <laughs> but I was 36 years old, 37. I was single. I'd gotten dumped pretty hard. And I woke up one day and I was like, that maternal clock just hit. And, you know, after traveling and being on the road for almost 20 years, I'm like, I. I want to have a family, you know, with or without a partner. I knew, I'm like, and so I had asked around and I had got um, recommended to Shaheen Gadir and, um, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it was, you know, this was how many years ago now? So three, so almost eight. five, almost eight years ago when I first walked into his office. And, and I can tell you, I didn't wanna be there. None of my friends had done it. No one was talking about freezing your eggs or freezing your embryos. You know, and when he sat down with me, he was like, you're old. You know, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? But I was. And at that point, you know, I, I, I think I applaud him the most so much for being so honest with me and saying, listen, if this is what you want, I'm gonna try to help you make it happen. You were ahead of your time in many ways, and we've actually <clears throat> recently talked about that decision, what a big decision it is to, to freeze your eggs, or now we even talk about freezing embryos. But how did you approach her case? So Molly came in just like <laughs> many, many women, <laughs> many women in their 30s who are unsure about their future. You know, no one expects to be in their 30s and not married and having kids, or if they did expect, they gotta start thinking ahead. And Molly, like many other women these days, did a very smart decision to come and get information. Um, we gave her information, and like every other woman in her age category that walks in, I, I like to let them know, the, this is the reality of where you are. Um, being a female is different than being a male, and you have to think ahead. You have to think ahead about freezing your eggs, about freezing embryos, and, and doing what, what you need to do. And what you want to do. I mean, this is such an individual choice. Right. You know, I knew that I wanted it, and he wanted to help make it happen. And I think now I'm so happy, which is why I agreed to do the show, because I do want women to, oh, look, I got pregnant naturally on my honeymoon. I did not need Shaheen. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got pregnant on my honeymoon because I had the insurance policy. I had it, I'd gone through it. I had struggled in the phone calls and the disappointing of like, okay, this made it to day one, to day three, to day five, and to do that process, it's so daunting, but I'm telling you, for someone who was 38 years old, it made a difference. It just, it got me focused, it got me like, okay, I also wanna find someone. Like, I, I not, I'm not saying I owe him, you know, me finding my oh, husband. 